Later this month, newly elected MAs will be sworn in at the National Assembly. It's a ceremony that involves pledging allegiance to the king. As Angela McKenzie reports, though, the PQ leader says he won't do it. It's been just over a week since PQ leader Paul St. Pierre Plamondon won his seat, and he's already trying to shake things up. I will not take an oath towards a foreign crown. Plamondon says he will not pledge allegiance to King Charles III when he's sworn in as an MA. And he's put in a formal request to the National Assembly to let him sit in the Blue Room just the same. He says it's a conflict of interest to pledge allegiance to the people of Quebec and also to His Majesty, pointing to the monarchy's colonial history. That crown was prejudicial, harmful to the Quebec nation, but also to the First Nations, and it is still harmful. The PQ has expressed its opposition to the oath in the past, tweaking the wording in 2018 to I will be loyal to Her Majesty until Quebec becomes independent. In 2003, some PQ MAs mumbled the oath, changed the words, or, like Francois Legault, a PQ MA at the time, said they had to do it. But law professor Frederic Berard says this is the first time a politician has taken things this far. Each and every member of uh, m and in, in Quebec or in other provinces has to plead allegiance to the king or to the queen. So this is a norm which is clearly entrenched uh, within our constitution. Berard says changing that would require an amendment to the constitution, which would be difficult to obtain. And adds not taking the oath could be costly to Plamondon. If Saint-Pierre Plamondon does not want to plead, what's going to happen is that he will not be able to have his seat as an uh, m and it, it, It's yeah, as simple as that. Plamondon refused to say what he'll do if his request is denied. We will see what happens after that first step. Plamondon wouldn't say if he's willing to lose his seat over this, but said he wouldn't rule out going through the courts if necessary. Angela McKenzie, CTV News.